Turkey, led by President Erdogan, occupies a complex position within NATO due to its strategic location, historical significance, and internal political dynamics. Geopolitically, Turkey sits at the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, controlling crucial choke points, such as the Turkish Straits. Its historical legacy spans empires like the Byzantine and Ottoman, shaping its modern identity and geopolitical importance. Since joining NATO in 1952, Turkey has played a vital role as a defensive wall against Soviet expansion during the Cold War and continues to be pivotal in NATO's southern flank, influencing regional stability. Erdogan's leadership, however, has introduced challenges. His increasingly authoritarian policies, crackdowns on dissent, and human rights abuses have strained Turkey's relationship with Western allies, contrasting sharply with NATO's democratic values. Turkey's military, with over 775,000 personnel, ranks as NATO's second largest force. This military strength is underscored by its modernization efforts, including significant investments in defense infrastructure and technologies. Despite this, Turkey's purchasing of Russian S-400 missile systems, in defiance of NATO preferences, has raised concerns about its ability and security within the alliance. Erdogan's foreign policy decisions, like military interventions in Syria and Libya, and disagreements over Kurdish groups, have further complicated Turkey's alignment with NATO objectives. Despite these challenges, Turkey remains integral to NATO operations, hosting critical bases like in Sirlik Air Base and participating in joint military exercises. The country's unique position as a bridge between East and West, coupled with its economic and military capabilities, ensures that Turkey continues to be a key player in regional and global geopolitics. However, Erdogan's unpredictable foreign policy and authoritarian tendencies pose ongoing challenges to NATO's cohesion and strategic objectives. Turkey is also making big strides in its nuclear energy plans, with Russia's state-owned Rosatom playing a major role. Turkey aims to build a second nuclear power plant in Korlu on the Black Sea coast, following their collaboration on the Akuyu nuclear power plant. This project is set to provide about 10% of Turkey's electricity by 2028. Turkey is also in talks with China for a third nuclear plant in Thrace. These moves are part of Turkey's goal to diversify its energy sources and reduce reliance on fossil fuels. They aim to have 20 gigawatts of nuclear power and 5 gigawatts from small modular reactors by 2050. However, NATO has concerns about Turkey's partnerships with Russia, fearing it could affect NATO's unity and security dynamics. Russia's involvement in Turkey's energy sector might increase dependency on Russian technology and pose security risks. In addition to energy, Turkey is exploring joining BRICS. This move aims to strengthen Turkey's global alliances and economic ties. Turkey's interest in nuclear energy is driven by its need to enhance energy security, boost economic growth, and address environmental issues by moving away from fossil fuels. Currently, Turkey relies heavily on coal and natural gas, making it vulnerable to market changes and geopolitical tensions. Trade-wise, Turkey's relations with Russia and China have seen significant growth, with trade volumes hitting record highs. Turkey imports oil from Russia and has a trade deficit with China which they're trying to balance through various economic initiatives. Turkey is also exploring alternatives to the US dollar in international trade, aiming to reduce dependency on it. This includes using local currencies in bilateral agreements and increasing their holdings of non-dollar assets like gold. The US has raised concerns about Turkey's energy partnerships with Russia and China, urging them to consider Western alternatives. They've imposed sanctions to limit Russian influence and maintain NATO's security standards. While Turkey's strategic importance within NATO is undeniable, Erdogan's leadership introduces complexities that test the alliance's unity and shared values. Balancing Turkey's geopolitical significance with its internal political dynamics remains a critical challenge for NATO in the 21st century. What do you think about Turkey? Do you think NATO will be hurt if Turkey joins the BRICS? Please put your comment down below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you, and as always, stay blessed.